All right, uh, got to turn the page on Cincinnati. Got a lot of corrections to make from that game, and uh, we're busy doing that here at practice, getting uh, the guys ready for this next opportunity here in Arizona. Got a lot of respect for the for the Cardinals defense. Um, a lot of good players, and uh, it's going to be a good task for us. So our guys are working hard, focusing on us this week, trying to make ourselves better. And with that, uh, take any questions. How tough of a debut is that as a play caller when it's routinely first and 20 or second and 20 and just behind the sticks so often? Yeah, that's football. You know, different situations come up. And, uh, you know, I thought our guys did a really good job in the second half making some adjustments and uh, you know, definitely playing, uh, you know, a little more penalty free in the second half and, and uh, getting us back in that game. Do you script out like 15 plays that you'd like to open with if you don't start with false starts and holdings and things like that? Yeah, we have some openers that we like, um, but you know that's again that's the game and uh, things happen. You got to adjust, and I thought I thought our guys did a good job of that in the second half. How do you balance the aggressiveness when that happens? Because naturally there will be penalty sacks and so forth. Um, but Kirk was talking about kind of how difficult it becomes with the defense is sitting on the sticks. Um, but at the same time, you want to get first downs and overcome that, right? So how do you balance that? Yeah, when you're in, you know, when you're in second and third and manageable, uh, changes your play calls a little bit. Um, but uh, you know, it, it just again, every every game you have a plan, and then you have a, you have your your plan of action when things don't go your way. You got a way you want to play the game, and and uh, the game changes, and you got to adjust. So. Um, it's just not going to be any different in this game. You know, we have we have a plan that we like, and we're practicing it, putting it together. But uh, when things adjust, we got to be able to do the same. Clint, when the false starts kind of surprised you, I think Zimmer said, you know, you didn't have any in the preseason, really, and watching the guys. Um, what's your first plan of attack, like talking to the online coaches and the guys about something like that? Yeah, something we definitely have to address uh, in practice. Um, you know, coach does a great job of cranking up the crowd noise for us and uh, just being on the guys and the details of the discipline of, of the snap count. And uh, uh, you are right, didn't hasn't happened in the preseason, but uh, hey, we, we stubbed our toe and we got to go get better. We got to address it. We got to be honest with everybody. And um, we, it starts with practice, it starts with yesterday's practice and now going into today, just being extra detailed on the snap count. The, the loaded fronts the Bengals ran, I guess, how much of that were you expecting? And how do you adjust to that if you see some similar things from the Cardinals this week? Yeah, it's something uh, you know, a lot of teams are doing, um, and um, try to take take one part of your game away, and you got you got to make make some adjustments. So they they did a good job, and uh, I think we have a good, you know, I think we have a good run plan going into this week. We're always you're always going to see something again that gave you trouble in the previous game. So we're prepared for for more of the same, and uh, you know uh, this defense is multiple. They can they can uh, you know play in a lot of different fronts. So you know Coach Joseph does a really good job. So we have a lot to prepare for there. Clint, this is known more as a two tight end offense, but were you, were you encouraged by the way it looked in the second half when you had to, to spread it out a little bit more and uh, had KJ making some plays? Yeah, KJ was up to the up to the challenge. You know, is you, you saw what he's done in practice, kind of show up in the game. So it's great to see that for him. Uh, D.D. Westbrook did a good job in his limited snaps, so we got a lot of confidence in those those guys going into the game making plays for us. I know you were the quarterbacks coach when Ezra was drafted and he had to play right guard last year. But when you guys were thinking about moving him over to left guard this year, was there ever a thought about, hey, this guy played left tackle in college, maybe we want to try him at left tackle year two for him? Yeah, those discussions are always ongoing. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd leave that more for coaches them to answer. But definitely Ezra has position flexibility. Very athletic guy. What makes him a good left guard? Like, I mean, for some for somebody who's played who played tackle his, his whole career, to move to be able to have like that seamless of a transition. Uh, well, I think just you know his his intelligence. It, when you play guard, I think there's a lot of different looks that you're going to get, and uh, you got to be a really smart player at guard. Not that the tackles aren't. You know, those guys got a lot of looks too. But to be able to move inside, things happen a lot faster. There's an extra you know extra get people crossing your face, and uh, Ezra's is very intelligent. Uh, I think that was the main thing that allowed us to move him there initially. How do you prepare for a guy like Chandler Jones? Yeah, uh, a lot of production there. Uh, we're gonna have a work cut out for us. Um, just gotta have a, you know, gotta have a plan. Gotta have a protection plan, and uh, gotta be able to run the football well too to help out. So you're not always in drop back situations. Seeing JJ Watt, how similar does it look 
in terms of how they're using him to what you probably saw when your when your dad was yeah. coaching him, and, and what's it going to be like to see him on the opposite sideline when uh, you're the, the play caller this time around? Yeah, he's a he's a you know Hall of Fame player. He's he's very hard to block. A lot of line movement. Um, very smart, always around the ball, and always anticipates where the ball is going to be. So um, it's not just Chandler we're worried about. You know, we're got to block JJ and uh, a lot of their guys. So it'll be it'll be fun to get to compete against them. Um, I know our guys are up to the challenge.